Hi everyone, this is Micah with I Art of Stone, and I would like to welcome you to my first challenge giveaway. It is a ticket strip challenge giveaway. Um, and the purpose of this is to start my collection of ticket strips. I watched a video from, let's see, Art of Craft NZ, and I loved it. I was hooked. I wanted to do them for myself. I want to see what other people do. Um, so I'm going to share with you mine, and then I'll give you the details of the challenge. Okay, so when I watched her video, I didn't see what kind of tickets she was using. So I went to Walmart and I bought these Admit One tickets. Um, you can use them, but it makes it more difficult because then I have to paint over the back. And I use like a, a white or a cream acrylic and I put enough layers to cover it. And then when I'm done, I distress the edges and then I put journaling lines on it. And that just kind of, it went from that to that. So it's doable, it's just an extra, an extra step that I would hate to have to do, keep doing. So these are the peacocks. Peacocks are my absolute favorite. And then I just stamped them and then I watercolored with purple. And then I put some glitter glue in the tail to kind of give it that shimmering shine. So there's those. And then these are my other birds. And I kind of hoard the little tiny small stamps, and this is why, is that I did script over the back, and then this bird is a stamp, and then this one on the flower is a different stamp. And I've got glitter glue on its belly and on its chest and in the um, flower. But tickets can be used for just about anything. You don't have to be a ticket maker to use them. Um, like, I make them, and I know other people that use them. And, like, here you can put it on a domino. Mine didn't come out very well. This is my first, one of my first dominoes, and I didn't glue it down enough, and so. But that is a ticket right on top of it. And then a lot of people will put it in a smash journal. And I'll show you mine. Right here. That's the first one that I've made. Um, I used Tim Holtz uh, Distress Ink, but that's, that's the front. That's the side that I acrylic painted, and it, the ink doesn't go real well on that. And then there's this one with the key, and then this one and that one. So you see you can put tickets into your smash pages or on dominoes or just whatever. But here's some of the ones that I made just recently. Oh, I always forget to focus once I get close. There we go. And if you have watched any of my previous videos, you'll see that this right here is a leftover. Uh, flower that I kind of put together when I altered a mason jar for my sister. So that's just a little scrap. And then these are like, um, I think they're wild orchid crafts. I don't remember because I didn't buy them, they were given to me. A little bling on the top. And it's different journaling. Well, that kind of looks like a safety pin, but nonetheless, it's a journaling stamp. And then the teapots. I just did these this morning. I love those. Oop, oop, come back here. Here we go. And I just embossed the edges and then I've used my little jelly roll to put the red on there and then some glossy accents over it so it kind of looks like jewels. The same thing. On the bag it's just got spots for journaling to hide the red that was on it. And then I've started making these but Obviously, I haven't finished. And that's a full-size stamp. I just used the corner of it. And then that's actually... Let me see. This, the, the whole stamp actually looks like that. Something like that is what the stamp actually looks like. But I put some on one and some on the other. So these will be fun. I'm not exactly sure the direction I'm going to take with these. But that is how I do mine. And then I've got some backs that are ready, but they are blank on the front. There's nothing there. And so what I'm wanting the challenge to be is make a ticket strip that is five tickets long. Same. One, two, three, four, five. That's one full strip. So you're going to make um, at least one ticket strip with five tickets. And then I'd like for you to do a video response. Um, link that video response to this video. And that will get you your first entry in for the prize. 
Now, that's all you have to do to be entered, but if you would like to mail me your ticket strips, um, then you will get an extra entry for every full strip that you send me up to five. So if you send me five ticket strips, then you'll get five entries plus the one for the video response, which is ultimately six. If you send me three ticket strips, you'll get three entries for the strips and then one for the video response and so on and so forth. But if you send me more than five strips, you still only get five entries. Okay, so that's basically all you've got to do. Um, there's no restrictions. You can do them however you want if you want to stamp them or put things on them. Um, I don't really care how you do them when it comes to size. Like I said, these right here, I think they measure out, five in a row measure out to be just a little over nine inches. And I know a lot of the ones at home are 10 inches by one inch and then they perforate them every two inches. So it really doesn't matter the size. I actually have this paper here. So this size would be okay also. Someone has come in again. I'm recording, you need to go out. Anyway, and you can see that that size is a lot bigger than this. But this would be okay also. I just don't want tags, you know? As long as it's still the ticket, that'd be all right. And then, let's see, what else? You know, I want you to be creative, try something new, you know, maybe something you've never done before, a style you've never done, or whatever. Now, the, the package, the prize package, it's a surprise. Um, actually, what it is is I don't have everything put together for it. I know what I want to give, but a lot of it is going to be handmade items, and so I will have to make those. Um, so I don't have them to show you right now. What I do have, I have a little bit already put together like there's this chipboard album from Michaels I love these and I think they're the perfect size for um, doing you know a little journaling with um, with your tickets but I really like these smash journals too so here are some pockets they are scored along the edges to glue them down and then you've created a pocket on the side to put your tickets in and then this right here is tape strips these are stickers for smash pages. And then this right here is resist board. It's chipboard, but it's resist. There's a design already into it, so when you color it, you know, those spots won't take the color. So that's really cool. So there's just a little tiny bit of some of the stuff that'll go into the giveaway package. But, you know, um, for everybody who enters, I'm going to be mailing you a ticket strip of my own. So when you mail your tickets to me, if you will include a self-addressed stamped envelope, it only needs one stamp, um, then for everybody who enters, I will make a ticket strip and send it to you. For everybody who mails me uh, their tickets, not just the video response, but if you actually mail me your set of tickets, I will take one ticket off of each entry and I will um, disperse them amongst everybody who mailed one in. So you will get a ticket strip from me and one ticket from one of the other entries. And then the, the prize package itself, I will do another video closer to the end of the challenge. Um, you know, I want it to be a little bit of a surprise. I don't want to give away everything. You know, I don't want everybody to know. But like I said, I'll be making some of the stuff. I've gotten into handmade flowers, so I'll put some of my handmade flowers in there, some more of the tickets. Um, I might put in some ticket templates, just different things. Um, I've also been doing charms, and so I might put a charm in there. I had a charm I could have showed you earlier, but I sent it home with my sister. So I don't have an example right offhand. But I did get some really cool beads today that would make beautiful charms. It's just an, uh, like a, a rogue earring. So that's some of the stuff that I can do charms with. So good luck to everybody. I hope that you have fun. And if you have any questions or comments, um, this is my first giveaway. So if I've confused anybody with my wording or whatever, just, just leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you. Um, so I think I'm going to open this up to um, international 
You know, it doesn't cost much to mail these tickets. They're pretty lightweight. So I don't see why it can't be open for everybody. You know, and, oh, yeah, I guess you'd want to know the entry date. Um, it ends on March 29th. That way I can have the weekend to go through everything and then draw the winning name and all of that. So March 29th is the last day to enter. Well, I need your tickets to me by March 29th. And then I need your video response uploaded no later than midnight on the 29th. That way we can get the weekend going and get things done and we're not waiting on anybody. So I, uh, I appreciate you watching the video. I hope you join. Um, this is going to be a lot of fun. And like I said, if you have any questions, just ask. And thank you for watching. Bye.